Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. So far today I have been doing, um, painting the black shelves on the bow locker and cleaning the bow thruster because it was really, really dirty and had some um, drops of white paint. Now 10 o'clock and uh, I've achieved nothing today. I've been hunting for tools all morning, hunting for spanners, trying to change the disc on the angle grinder and absolutely achieved nothing. And I guess that's bonus, isn't it? So what we're going to do... I have done better than you, you have, yeah. I've got to change the... Uh, cut a board to go down here uh, to put the generator on because the frame isn't big enough. And uh, so I've got to board up one of the floorboards up from downstairs um, because we're not going to use those. Uh, we're putting some new stuff down which has uh, got a nice uh, finish to it. So we are recycling wood. Yeah, we are. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, yep, that's my task. But I will have it done before long. Yeah. You... Nice, nice cup of coffee. <laughs> and the next thing is to put the insulation in because the insulation just came. Yep. It was just delivered. Yep. yep. Put the insulation in. Put the insulation on the walls up there. We are trying to get the boat weatherproof as soon as possible. In order to do that, we have to put the engine room insulation in, the generator, and eventually the engine. We can then build a roof to the pilot house. Just been a little challenge. But this isn't the most expensive saw in the world, actually. You'd be surprised. We paid £99 for the saw, and I've had one before, and it's very good. Um, it certainly will cut plywood and uh, all sorts of things like that. Uh, you can do grooves and various things. Actually, I'll have some bargain. The only reason why I get, couldn't use the other one is because I gave it to my son when we went off. <laughs> Sailing the boat wasn't big. Everything we give to JJ never yeah. comes back. That's right. <laughs> so we're having a new one and it will outlast this job. Yeah. Screw fix. £99. Pounds. It's pretty good, isn't it? £220. Box. Okay, so you need to support that end. It has to be painted or it's okay. No, it needs painting. That's your job next. Oh, this I'm sure it's the right stuff. I was just expecting it to be uh, Foil. But it looks like it's foil on the other side, no? Yeah, that's um, the uh, sticky. Hmm. It doesn't matter the colour, does it? Oh, we had uh, no, it's just a fire, a fire, you know, it's sort of like it doesn't distribute heat. But um, the, the one on the lagoon was like just like it wasn't as thick as that. So that's our other job for today. Are you, we're going to use all those five sheets, is it? Yes, because we're doing the ceiling. Bit first, from here, here to here. Okay. This is Class O acoustic 50mm foam lining. It is chemically inert, non-dusting and is exceptionally fire resistant. Even though it has a sticky backing, we will be putting some screws and washers in to help keep it in place.
That's me again pausing the video to give you time to subscribe to our channel. 70% of you guys are watching the videos without subscribing. Please help us to produce these free videos for you. Have you done it? Lovely. Let's continue the show. Thank you everyone. We're going to have to screw all of this on because there's no way this is going to stay up there. It's just this uh, sticky stuff. Like The generator is from Vitus. It is 220 volt, 45 amp load at 1500 RPM. This unit is not new, so it already has a few hours on the clock. The generator gets stuck on a bracket which is supposed to hold it in place. The decision is made to cut it off. be able to do that because yeah, I could just cut a bit of uh, foam out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well done, Meg. Well done. Very well done, Charlie. <laughs> Stage one done. <laughs> yeah. So we got the old in, uh, the generator. That was a bit of a wriggle and a shake and uh, yeah, it's gone in now absolutely perfect. You couldn't actually uh, you wouldn't be able to get at anything, of course. <laughs> and the alternator is on the other side. Um, so the, the very roomy, ancient room, room is, is getting a bit full, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is already. Yeah, at the, uh, the, the Jenny, when we bought the boat, we knew it wasn't new. And uh, we're hoping it's good. Uh, we understand it's good. 
and um, yeah but it's in there uh, it's water cooled so uh, we're going to do all the pipes for that sort of thing and uh, off we go so that wasn't actually too difficult no 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 only took 10 minutes yeah, was it really yeah yeah there you go yeah yeah they are very helpful here. They very every anything. Yeah, they anything. always do everything so in yeah. a friendly way. Yeah, always. Absolutely. Uh, so far, this is absolutely wonderful boatyard. Wonderful people. I can't recommend it enough. Actually, it's fantastic. All the frames for the pilot house have actually been made, but they have been exposed to the weather. They therefore require sanding and repairing. It's never this hot in England, never. No. It's about 30, 32 degrees, has yes. been for the last week. Yes. Um, yeah, so we're suffering. But we uh, thankfully this week they moved our boat to the shade. So it's beautiful, actually, so, in yeah. a way. But out there where we've been sanding all day. Yeah. So uh, jobs that have got done this week is uh, we painted, uh, sanded, painted, and uh, uh, insulated the engine room, which is really good. Yeah, and the bow locker. And the bow locker, that's done as well. We've um, put the generator in. Uh, it's only in, it's not fixed up. Yeah, of but it's in. It was a big, a big uh, um, move, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. So now the next job is um, two things really. Uh, one is to get the engine in, and we need to get the engine in before we put the pilot house together. And but we want to get the pilot house together because I think the glass will be arriving by the end of next week, and we want to start making the boat waterproof because at the moment there's big holes in it, and if it really does. Rain. rain it's just going to fill up inside yeah. so we've got top holdings but um you know, they're not, not fantastic if you know what i mean yeah. so we're sanding uh these uh, uh window frames like that yeah. and we've got to repair quite a few actually but, uh, yeah that's we'll the job for today isn't it and tomorrow, and tomorrow. yeah we have to do all of this as well yeah but, uh, we're getting there yes slowly so Simon got some presents. Yep, 200 amp hour starter batteries. One for the generator and uh, one for the uh, the engine. And I think they're going to go there and domestic bank will go on the other side. But they're lithium so they're not here yet. They're coming from Hong Kong. So we need to do a panel here for all the uh, plumbing and electrics. That's the next job isn't it? Mm. We have been working very hard today, sanding, isn't it? Uh, so it's a very dusty job, it's um, terrible, really. But um, yeah, we did well. Uh, we just have probably another half of the boat to do. 